All right, look, uh, Dan is upset. That's okay. This is going to be a quick report here. We just got to talk about the Maker's Mark thing and how they're lowering their proof by adding water to Maker's Mark. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Those sons of bitches. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, they're lowering it from uh, 90 proof to 84 proof, I believe that is. Now, people are saying that's 6%. That's not 6%. 6 proof. 100 proof is 50% alcohol. So that means you double it. That's 12%. Am I right with that? 6% proof is 12% of the alcohol content. You're right, and and pure grain alcohol is 200 proof. Okay, so if then they, so okay, so let's correct some people that are saying no, it's only three percent alcohol. Wrong. 90 proof to 84 proof is uh, uh six proof is 12 percent. That's an amazing. <laughs> You've been drinking. <laughs> That's an amazing change. That's like ridiculous. Okay, now here's their. But they say you won't taste the difference. Why don't they lower the price then? The Daily Beast commented on that. Why don't they just lower the price if they're going to water it down? Or why don't they raise the price if they're going to keep it the same? They commented on corn futures. Let's take a look at this graph. If you see, you can see that corn futures, the price of corn futures. could you turn that graph upside down? I can't read it. <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. You see that the price of corn futures, it's tripled since 2005. And it's doubled since 2009. Uh, the price of corn futures is going up. The popularity of bourbon is going up. And by the way, corn is the biggest produced uh, um, agricultural product in the United States. Can they make bourbon from anything other than corn? They, uh, there are different. I think it has to be a minimum of 51% corn. Uh, can we have soybean bourbon? <laughs> we can. Have, yes, we can have soy bourbon. <laughs> How about broccoli? <laughs> I like it. This <laughs> buffalo grass vodka. <laughs> well, uh, what is, wait a minute, what's buffalo grass vodka? I never heard of that. Yes, and it's got a piece of grass in the bottle, and it's green. I'm not allowed to drink that on the show. No, no you're not. Okay, but check it out. A maker's mark had said our customers won't notice the difference in taste. Forbes magazine commented on that, and they said... Uh, do you really want to go on the record as saying the palates of your customers are so unrefined that they can't tell the difference when whiskey is diluted? That's a pretty uh, strong statement. Uh, they call it a missed opportunity. They said they could have used their looming shortage as an opportunity to make their brand stronger. And they referred to uh, Knob Creek, which is also owned by the Beam Company. Uh, the Beam Company owns Maker's Mark, uh, Knob Creek, and other brands as well. Um, they mentioned how Knob Creek did just that. They used it as an opportunity to make their brand stronger. Uh, when they faced the same problem as Maker's Mark a few years back, did they water down their whiskey? Did they stop advertising the product that was sold out anyway? Did they stop advertising to boost profits? No. Instead, they leveraged multiple psychological triggers by advertising the shortage. And um, it seemed to work for them because their price went up uh, probably like $9 in a four or five month period. I remember that. That used to be a great bargain, and it went way up in price. It's just, uh, you know, it's just more of uh, 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 marketing, in my opinion, because I wonder if Maker's Mark's popularity has gone so high, and it has, I wonder if they're doing that because they want to decrease demand and because they want to start selling more Jim Beam. Uh, and I would, uh, go ahead, <laughs> you're pointing your finger down in the air. <laughs> God. This is just another case of the little guy. Having his lungs ripped out through his throat by the man. <laughs> Are you going to be okay? What you doing? <laughs> this is important. <laughs> Go ahead. Correct me if I'm wrong. But Maker's Mark had experienced a shortage several years ago yeah. because it takes two, age, two years to age six, by law. Six to seven years in the case of Maker's Mark. So we're looking at seven years of watered down bourbon before they have enough? And Is also, they're telling us? Why did, why did they waste their uh, resource? <laughs> why did they waste their bourbon uh, making this 46 crap? It's just overpriced bourbon. It's not as good as a regular Maker's Mark. Why did they water that down? 
Why don't they water that down? Or why don't they just stop? <laughs> what? Would you say that again? Just the way you said it? <laughs> why don't they water that down? <laughs> You're having a hard time looking me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm doing this show is because it's important. That's Otherwise, right. I'm protesting. Okay, Time Magazine. The headline, Maker's Mark waters down its whiskey, anger rises. Um, they say uh, in their article, they basically say most makers, drinkers like it neat. I've, I've never seen Maker's Mark sell out. I've never gone to a liquor store that didn't have Maker's Mark. So I'm wondering if this whole sellout thing is just a device because they plan on even more international distribution, and so they know that it will be less available here because they can really make a lot of money, not only in the, in, in the higher price of bourbon overseas, but in the profit they can make in shipping. One thing's for certain, John. There's more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> I, I, what? <laughs> There's more to this than meets the eye. Wait a minute, let me say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What would you say I didn't hear you the first time? One thing's for certain, John. What's that, Dan? There's more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> would you like to see some comments? Some uh, comments from Maker's Mark fans? Yes. It says, of course he's saying that we're not going to taste the difference. The only way to sell a bad decision is to convince others that it's, it's a good like decision. It's like new Coke. <laughs> what? <laughs> new Coke. I know. It was a disaster. But but it, it, was, it was a planned disaster. It, Let me tell you something, Sean. <laughs> they never have any intention of marketing new Coke. They made some crap. They called it new Coke. So that we would forget what Coke tasted like while they switched over to corn syrup. And Coke was never the same. Coke Classic by ass. And they put, they say a can with a picture of a Coke bottle on it. And you think, oh, I'm drinking Coke. <laughs> You're drinking shit. <laughs> and that's what it makes this mark is going to be a box. <laughs> Come what it down. <laughs> and I'm still upset with you. <laughs> Tune in next week when we do our bourbon shootout. Uh, looking for an alternative to replace Maker's Mark. We are not going to drink it anymore. Isn't that right, Dan? Yes. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>